Hi guys, I'm Anna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to train your lower body because I know you've been really asking for this and you want to get into it. So this is not to music. You can hear my lovely music playing in the background, not mine, someone else's. But um, we're going to do this complete black music so all you need is you to feel fit and healthy, to have your workout space and then maybe have some plates or dumbbells. You might want to elevate your heels in a little while so you might want to have something that you can just pop your heels on. So if you want to make sure you've got everything you need, sorted yourself out, we're just going to get nice and warm. So join me on the floor. We'll start in here with a single leg glute bridge. Just going to activate our butt cheeks, lifting up and squeezing, driving it into the heel. So we want a really nice contraction and we want to build some heat. As ever, I have trained legs today, so this could go either way for me, you know it. Okay, lift and squeeze. We're just going to do about 35 seconds on each leg. Bringing it up, feeling that magic in your butt cheeks. So, this can be quite tiring, so if it's not something you've done before, or you need an alternative, you can always pop your heel on the floor for a staggered. Let's change sides, so I'll just demonstrate that for you on the other side. So if you need a bit of extra support, keep your pelvis nice and level. We can keep that leg long over there. Otherwise, you're just gonna lift and push up here into your single leg glute bridge magic. Whoosh. Well done, we have another 10 seconds on the clock here. I'm just gonna flip over. Two, and one, good. Drop and roll. And then you're coming over here into a kind of low lunge position. And we're just gonna dig our heel into the floor. And I want you to open your knee up. So just gonna squeeze in here and feel your butt cheek activate in this lovely low position. Grinding it, squeezing it out. We're doing this here for about 15 more seconds. Boosh. Squeeze and open. So it might not move very far. Depends on your body, we're not trying to force it. We're just doing what happens naturally as our butt cheek squeezes, change sides. Open it. Yes. So the movement needs to come from your butt. So make sure that you're really squeezing your buttocks in order to open it up. Open up your leg, I mean. Awkward. Five seconds. Try and keep a straight face. Three, two, and one. Good. Up we come. I'm going to come up into an almost a conventional stance. And we're just going to start bringing it in here for a little squat action and squeezing up through the glutes. So if you're not a big squatter, we just start coming down about halfway, squeezing up. So you do you. If you squat a lot or you're kind of used to this, we're just going to drop down letting our knees move out and feel some heat happening here. Lift and squeeze. Good. Give me another four and just charge up the cheeks. Ooh. Two. Nice. And one more. Well done. Right, we're going to hit the deck. We're going to start again, but this time we're going to add in a few more variations. So we'll keep this plain and simple here. Lift and squeeze in. And what I don't want to happen is one, that you end up lying on the floor like I am now, and two, so we want control. We want the load to be ours all the time. We don't want to just be flicking it up into the air and hoping for the best. This is our body. We're going to squeeze in, ground in, and drive your hips up towards the ceiling, but with control. Well done. Change legs. Pushing in. Hey. Very nice. Can you feel things feeling a little bit more active now? Yes, we can. We feel good. <sighs> Lift and squeeze. Well then, 10 seconds on here, then we're going to drop and roll for that low lunge position. <sighs> Three, two, and one. Over we come. Step around. And then let's continue to warm up the cheek to area of our body. This so time I'm going to try not to say anything inappropriate or offensive. Yes. Open. Lovely. 
Right, we have six seconds left on this leg. Six seconds of fun and happiness. And then we're gonna just swing it back and change the side. The French is excellent, isn't it? Excellent. I put the heating on before I started because it's a bit chilly in here. Um, and now I really wish I hadn't, I'm not gonna lie. Cooking, cooking it up. Well done. Squeeze, five seconds on the clock. So much butt happening. Three, two and one, good. Right, a little variation for you. So this time, if you're feeling semi-warm, I want you to push your hips back, coming down, um, touching the toe, and then we're gonna sink into our lowest lunge position, um, lowest squat position, and then drive up. So we push your hips back, grab, drop and lift through the chest and drive up. Now carry on. If that's not a bit low for you, you can just literally do the same thing there. So we're trying to stretch our hamstrings gently, come down and squeeze. So we can spend a little bit of time just at the bottom, making sure that we feel good through the hip and open up those legs. I want you to carry on with that for me for 10 seconds. I have to turn the heating off, I'm sorry. Literally sweating in here. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea. You've got five seconds here, just stretching it out, feeling that magic in your soul. Three, two and one, well done. And now I just want you to open up your hips a little bit. Sweep it around. About 10, let's just do 10. Opening up our hips to the side. So what we're going to do today is work through a really short list of exercises back to back, and then you have a little rest, and then we're gonna go again. So you might have some friendly dumbbell plates hanging around that you may use for some of it. So for this, we're gonna to try to squat with our heels up. So you can absolutely decide if you wanna do that, otherwise you can just do a normal squat, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna use this other set for like weighted stuff so we can do things together. All right, so the first thing you are doing is popping your heels on here if you can. This generally makes it a little bit easier for people to squat. So you, if you don't want to put your heels up, you don't have to. We're going down in three, two and one, bringing the hips back, coming down and squeezing up. So let's do that again. So as you come down, your knees are opening up and then we're going to push back up again. Carry on for me and turn to the side so I'm not crotch the camera because realistically, that's not what you signed up for. So we're coming down and pushing back up again. So looking at that chest lifted, Feeling the drive and squeezing up. Good. Let's do that again. So your elbows are pointing down in between your legs and you're just going to drive up. Your knee is allowed to move forward in a squat. So it looks, turns out a tiny bit inside of the kneecap, looks towards the baby toe. And your toes are slightly out. We're going to drive into that heel, even if it's on the plate, and squeeze up through our bum cheeks as we do it. And I want you to carry on because you have 10 seconds left here. Coming down and pushing up. Listening to your body about where the end of your range is. If you feel it on the lower back, just stop a little bit higher. Brace through that core and try not to over arch in a bid to get your chest up. Three, two and one. Now taking your friendly dumbbells, we're taking a staggered stance. So that's one leg slightly behind the other with the heel up, a bit like a pony. And we're gonna come into a staggered RDL, B stance RDL. Pushing the hips back and squeezing. Good, so we stretch, and drive in and squeeze. So this helps us do a little bit more um, almost single leg work. So we've got the back leg is like a bike uh, prop thing. You know, you flick them out. You know what I mean. So your back thing is like a bike sticking up thing and it just stops you from falling over. So we're not really using that back leg for anything other than stabilization and to help us keep our pelvis nice and uh, flat. Awesome, keep going for me. We're gonna do about another 15 seconds. Squeeze through those glutes. Lovely, so you should feel a really nice stretch across the butt and across the back of the leg, so in your hamstring. Squeeze for four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna change the leg. So bring your other leg back like a little pony and then just push it through the hip. Now, 
one leg might feel better than the other. It definitely does for me. This one I find really difficult because it's my bad hip. But I'm just listening to all the teaching points. I'm just going to try to keep everything working. I want you to carry on for me while I talk to you a little bit about your shoulders. So we're drawing our shoulders back down towards our pants and they stay towards our pants and we're coming into this RDL position. So we can't pull them back because we have the weights here, but we can drop them down. And down is towards the butt. So they're moving towards my butt when I'm coming into this RDL as well. So it's, that's it. Brilliant, well done. Keep packing it down. You've got 10 seconds left on this, this one. 10 seconds. Really drawing down through those shoulders. We want you to keep working for three, two and one. Excellent. Deciding if you want weights or not, we're taking a long stance. So our feet are still hip width apart and we're bringing it down into a nice long lunge. So if we don't want weight, all it looks like is this. Perfectly fine not to use weights if that's not for you right now. So we're screwing our foot in, keep going. We're gonna turn to the front. I would like your feet on tram lines. So they're in line with your hips, it's your hips, your body. And we're coming forward over this front leg, but trying to keep our pelvis level so we're not opening up to the side. We've got both hips facing forward and a come down, squeeze into that front foot. You know when you start working out and you really wish that you'd done your shoelaces up? I'm about there. So we've got 10 seconds. Back shoes, not even on my foot, not gonna lie. Eight, screwing in. I want you to get that really nice range and that stretch across your butt. Sorry, my shots are rolling up aggressively. Three, two, and one. Change the leg. Not like that. Bring them here and then bring it down. And this again is my hip where I'm fighting to sink into it. So I'm just going to really try to keep that here. Shh. So for those of you that don't know, I've got scoliosis, which is why sometimes I look a little bit wonky. Okay, we're coming down, screwing that front foot in and opening up the knee. So we want to have that feeling of spinning slightly forward. So sometimes we can lunge up and sometimes we can lunge leaning slightly forward. And this one is slightly forward. You only have 20 seconds. I want you to screw your front foot into the floor, feeling that knee. Just, it opens a tiny bit, like literally millimeters, but you feel your ass do a lot more work rather than constantly relying on your quads. So we want to really activate things and really help our pelvis stay nice and level and neutral. Keep working for three, two and one, excellent. Let's flip over onto our beautiful back region and we are going to do here a happy sleep bridge. So, if we wanted to, we could put a little weight on our pelvis, that's one. For this one, we're going to step our feet out a little bit further away. So pointing towards the wall and we're going to come up here. So now, our feet are further away, so if you can have them even longer, happy days. That means you'll be able to feel it a lot more in the hamstring. Now for some people, this might cause you a little cramp, and that's fine. And you can just walk your feet back in towards your body. I'm going to drive into the heel, bring your hips up towards the ceiling, and bringing the pelvis under a little bit like a flasher. Won't be able to get it all the way under because we're kind of long and stretched here but we're avoiding this, like too much in the lower back. So we're gonna tuck it under a little bit like you're trying to flash your junk. And come down on the edge. Probably shouldn't use that phrase on YouTube. Brilliant, keep squeezing with or without your plate. We're working for another four seconds. Three, two, and one. Fantastic, up we come. Bring in your plates with you if you want to. We're working into calf raise. So we're doing here, up onto the toe, slowly lower. Now, if you can do it without rocking your weight back, that would be brilliant. So we don't want to be like coming back and then bringing it up and coming back. So we're trying to lower our heel towards the floor, but not actually put any weight on it that our calves are on all the time. Keep going, if you're holding your weights, great. Lift and squeeze. Now, when we've done 15, and I have to be honest with you all, I have lost count. If you do any of my other YouTube stuff, you know that I'm average at this. 
If there's not music on, I don't know how many reps we've done. So now we're gonna literally lift and squeeze and burn these out, looking for about 15, which was the goal. So now they should start feeling hot. They're getting hot in here. Awesome, don't know how many that was. I'm just gonna call that 15. Brilliant. Now you have a tiny rest. So I'm gonna let you rest for, should we rest for 30 seconds? So if you wanna grab a drink, you absolutely can. The first thing we're doing next is your squat with your weights, hopefully, or not. And I'm gonna give you a little variation. So you have got left 15 seconds to just have a quick sip. And we're gonna come back here into our heel up position. You'll have your dumbbells here, but I wanna to talk to you with my hands. We're working in five, in four, three, two, and one. So forget we were coming down here. Now we're gonna add in a half rep and squeeze. So we come all the way down. Give me that half or quarter rep, whatever you wanna call it, and up and squeeze. Let's do that again. Down, down, and drive. Keep going. So our teaching is still the same. Our knee is looking out towards our baby toe. This heels up might let you get a bit lower. It definitely works for me and my lower back. So having our heels elevated, it will help to take the pressure off does for me. And for a lot of people with ankle stuff, you'll find this a little bit easier um, to get down because you don't need quite so much mobility. Keep working for 15 seconds, that one and a half rep, if you've decided to progress it. Keep going, keep going. You have 11 seconds left before your RDL. Yes, eight. Feel your beautiful butt cheeks charge up. And five, four, three, two, one. Watch me. Here we go. RDL staggered if you can and squeeze it. Now, if your dumbbells are too heavy for you um, in this position, you're just gonna do both feet, okay? So we just come in here and we'll just do our feet at the same time. That is fine. Otherwise, drop this foot behind, pick the pony foot up and bring those hips backwards. So, carry on. There's this movement from the hip, bringing the hip forward. So I want to try not to think about lifting with your upper body and instead think about driving with your glutes. One thing we don't want to do is <laughs> thrust it forward. We're not Mr. Bean. That's not the kind of game that we're playing. We're bringing it back and then we are squeezing our glutes, but it feels more like you're trying to suck your butt cheek up inside your body. So you're gonna push it back and then squeeze and tuck it in. Three seconds on this leg. Three, two, and one. Change legs if you're doing staggered and then come in on the other side. Screwing in and squeezing. Well done, team. Fighting with your pelvis. Fighting with your pelvis. Lovely. Oh, team, this is a beautiful, beautiful hamstring moment. You want to make it a little bit harder, you might slow it down a fraction. Keep under load for that little bit longer. We have 15 or 10 seconds, hard to say. Well done, we're moving into a lunge in five, four, three, two, and one. So, taking those feet hip width apart, so they're not one behind the other. We're gonna be hip width apart here. Now come down, frame the front foot with your dumbbells, with your plates, and you might be ready to stay down here, screwing it in, and breathe and hold. Otherwise, come all the way up so you get that full range and that little rest. Otherwise, down to the point where you feel a little bit like you might cry. So there's a point right at the bottom where it's kind of comfy and we don't want that bit. So we're gonna come up to the bit where a bit of sick is gonna come. Nice, squeeze. Well done, you've got 15 seconds. And I know that you can do this. Keep screwing in, opening that knee up a tiny, tiny little millimeter or two. Millimeters. Off we go for five, keep going, four, three, two and one. Well done, shake it off, I'm gonna give you five seconds to change over. Three, two and one, awesome. Coming down on the other side, screw in and squeeze. Well done. Nice, long stance with the body leaning forward. Yes, oh, I'm 
I'm going to dance to you while you do it. I'm going to keep you motivated. Uh, uh. Motivation. 20 seconds for you. While I stand here and watch you all staring you out while you're doing it. Here we go. We've got 10 seconds. 10 drunk seconds. Squeeze it in. And again. Good job, good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Come down to the underground. Pop in a plate on or not. Up to you. I'm deciding how long a stamp you can cope with. Squeeze in. So, if you're a secret hamstring ninja, you're going to have to squeeze here. Knees are moving out, glutes are contracting. Buttock region. And again, lift and thrust. Thrust into the air. Joy. And again, 10 seconds on the clock. We have your calf raises left in five, four, three, two, and one, fabulous. Grabbing your dumbbell friends if you want to. One, two, or ten. Up to you. Coming into your calf raises, lifting up and lowering down. Don't forget, we're trying not to rock back. So we want that real magic happening in our calf. So it should feel a little bit like they're going to make you bomb. Because they get all built up and burning E. We like that, don't we? I'm calling that eight. I understand that I can't. Ten. Well done. So we're now five this pace. Not with that kind of fucking sensation though. Three more. Squeezing up. Two. And one. Good. Now let's charge these up. Nice and fast. Keep going. Don't stop. One. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Five, four, three, two, and the one. Well done. Remove the plate from your person. Okay, guys, really, really well done. If you're feeling super fit and you're ready to do another round, I just want you to wind me back about six minutes and you'll be able to start again. Otherwise, I want you to give yourself a massive clap because that is a nice solid circuit for the legs, which you can easily repeat and you can easily use to add into your other workouts or to connect with the upper body workout that I already posted. Really, really well done and thank you for joining me.